Man, what a live stream. So much new info. I am I right? Amiko, uh, uh, what are you doing with that sandal? Or can you believe it? Another child rerun? Okay, in retrospect, recording this part a day before the live stream wasn't that smart, but why do you think I picked Outlandish predictions? Well, at least one of them was Outlandish. Hello, travelers. I'm TZ, and I'll be recapping the 2.3 live stream we just had, quickly going over everything you need to know going into the next Genshin update. I'll do my best to go over everything within the next three to five minutes so that way I don't keep you here for too long. Before starting today's video, why not consider hitting the subscribe button? I'm new to the Genshin community, but I have zero intentions on leaving soon. I'll also be hosting some giveaways later down the line, so subscribe and you'll be the first to know. Now let's start things off with... Codes! I hope these codes still mean something to you by the time you watch this video. I was going to do a poll using these 300 primos, but well, here's why I'm not. So this is actually shocking to say the least. I knew from the leaks that stated Albedo was getting a rerun. But surprise, Eula is too. Going forward, they are doing two rerun banners at the same time. The system for wishes is also very nice. For example, if I made 25 wishes on Albedo, but now I want to pull for Eula suddenly, those 25 will carry over to Eula's. This is awesome. Albedo and Eula will be phase one. Phase two will have new characters. They will be featuring Ido and Goro, and they will officially be on Phase 2 of Update 2.3. Ido is a Claymore character, and he possesses Geo. I can see this character being a DPS guy, considering they focus a lot on strength in his elemental skills and power. Goro will be a 4-star on Ido's banner. Goro is an archer with Geo abilities. Goro will be focused as a Geo support character, as he will apply either a defensive buff, resistance, and so on and so forth, depending on how many Geo members you have in your party. Ida will have a story quest added in, whereas Goro and Beto will have hangout events added into the game. There will be two new artifact sets with a domain on Sarai Island, and there will be a new Claymore, which is probably specific to Ido. We also have a new boss in the game. His name is the Golden Wolf Lord. I can imagine this boss will be holding the Ascension material for Ido and Goro, being as it looks Geo-like. This boss's attacks will apply stacks of corrosion damage and affect all party members. Once his health drops to a certain point, it'll summon Rifttown Alphas to supply it with shields and also attack you. At another HP tier, its resistance to Geo drops, but has its attack buffed up. I can see people being in a group to take this beast down, honestly. Solo sounds like it'd be hell. The main event of this update is called Shadows Amidst Snowstorms. We're going back to Dragon Spine! <laughs> Requirements to do this event is getting to Adventure Rank 20 and finish the following quest to take part of this event. Along with the story quest in this event, you will be able to participate in challenges and get event currency to exchange for rewards. There will be different challenges included. Agility test, race down a course as fast as you can. Fast equals more points. Points can also be earned by collecting different insignias. So there should be a strategy other than being Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. Buffs, or as known in this event, blessings, will appear as you race. One of them will enhance your character's jumping ability, and the other will allow your character to destroy ice obstacles you may run into. Tracker training. You will find and melt ice crystals within the targeted area to clear this challenge. You will definitely want to use a pyro character for this, and enemies and hazards will appear as the challenge plays out. Combat training. This will contain lores to initiate the challenge. The challenge will increase the power of sheer cold, and enemies will get buffed within intervals. Scarlet Quartz will benefit in this challenge heavily. There will be AoE pyro damage with the Scarlet Quartz if you are in heat source mode. Scarlet Quartz can also be dropped by certain enemies as well as being on the playing field. Doing these challenges will obtain event currency, primos, and mora. You will also be able to obtain snowman pieces in the tracker training and combat training. You'll be able to exchange parts with your friends and also build snowmen on Dragon Spine. You will be able to get a free four-star sword by building snowmen, which actually benefits Albedo heavily. The event currency will have the refinement materials for said sword, and snowmen will be allowed to be in the teapot after the event is over. Event story will also have a boss not yet revealed, but the trailer heavily implies it's Albedo. The next event will be taking place in Inazuma again with Bonton Sango case files. Basically, we will find out that animals went missing, and then we gotta bring them back, basically. This event's pretty badass because that doggo has a fucking sword. Basically, it's a stealth mission to save the animals that went missing. We'll also be able to save animals in Dens of Thieves by defeating enemies in that area. You'll claim rewards like Primo Gems. 
After the event, a new gadget is obtained and it becomes literally Pokemon. Energy Amplifier. You'll be able to claim mutation crystals in point of interest areas after defeating enemies. Take down the mutation crystal first and then move on to killing the enemies in the area. After you finish Act 1, you will be opening a new domain. Fragments will determine the buffs you get inside those domain and there will be clear and milestone rewards. Misty Dungeon. You'll need to do these trial dungeons where you will use different trial characters. Each dungeon will have three ruin challenges inside and upon completing them all, you'll get to play the final challenge of said dungeon. Completing these, completing these dungeons will give you rewards. And then the last event, their most popular merchant, they say. Speaking of recurring events, our most popular merchant, Lieben is coming back in version 2.3 with his goods. Lieben is returning and you will be able to exchange materials for goods like Primo Gems and XP. Weapon enhancement, mora, and talent level up materials. Hooray for Lieben! Or boo, it's Lieben. I don't know what to say yet. Can you tell I've only been playing this game for two months? Oh boy, did they save the best for last, because I know how happy I am with this. Paimon could be a companion in the teapot! 2.3 is the best update. Nothing could top this Paimon best travel companion. Paimon, do the Fortnite dance. And that's everything coming to the 2.3 update. What stood out to you? What are you looking forward to? Anything to be skeptical about? Comment below your takes and I'll reply to you. Maybe. Depends if I'm busy or sleeping. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next Getchin video. Safe travels, all.